Is the Gradle Kotlin DSL any good? Let's create the same Gradle project in Kotlin and Groovy to find out. Okay, let's create a new project. Run Gradle in it. Basic, Kotlin, Kotlin. Let's open this bad boy in IntelliJ. First difference, we've got build.gradle.kts file instead of build.gradle. I'll take no offense at that at all. Let's get rid of this crap. And we're going to apply the application plugin. And that's like the Java plugin, but better. You can run applications with it. Same syntax, plugins, closure. Difference now in Kotlin is we just have to type application. And it will even autocomplete for us. How lovely. Know that if I make a typo, that's a syntax error in Kotlin. We don't get that in Groovy at all. Last one to Kotlin there, I'd say. Hold on a sec. I've been a bit cheeky. I've just copied across a Java class, which we can build in this project. It's going to do some very cool stuff. I don't want to show you what's inside. It's some horrible code. And it's app to end all apps. Oh, yes. At this point, let's load the Gradle changes. Control Shift O. Now IntelliJ recognizes this as a Java project. Cool. Configure the application plugin. So that's application closure. And we're going to set the main class. This is different in Kotlin. We say main class dot set. It's a property, so we have to call dot set. In Groovy, you can use equals. So I'm going to give it a plus one to Groovy. This is a fair comparison after all, right? This means we're going to be able to run the application using the run task. I'd also like to be able to build a jar and run that jar. So I'm going to add a custom task here. So let's see what the difference is with Kotlin. Tasks.register, same as Groovy. Now we have to provide within these less than or greater than symbols. We have to say Java exec. We're going to execute the jar file. Task name, closure, set the group of this task. We have to use equals in Kotlin. If we control click on this, we can see that it's actually calling set group. So equals in Kotlin is going to call the set method automatically. Whereas in Groovy, we can use the equals or we can leave it out. Let's give plus one to both Groovy and Kotlin. I'm feeling generous. Set the class path. We call the class path function here and we want to reference tasks.jar. Reference the output by doing map closure it.outputs. Load changes. Let's see what tasks we have. So run is going to run the class directly. There you go. Thumbs up Kotlin. Run jar is going to run the jar. Uh oh, forgot something. Oops. I forgot to add the class name to the jar file manifest. Classic. Configure the jar task tasks.jar. So in Kotlin we have to use tasks.jar in Groovy, you can use jar directly. This is a preference thing, but I actually think it's clearer to do tasks.jar. That way you know you're referencing a task and not a plugin configuration. Plus one to Groovy and Kotlin again. Manifest, same. Attributes, main class, double quotes in Kotlin, of course. And I like this a lot because in Groovy, you never know whether to use single or double quotes. And there's always inconsistencies. Plus one to Kotlin equals let's copy this otherwise i'm bound to make a mistake okay try that again that's more like it i think we forgot something every good developer always writes a test we already have a test here just need to configure it let's add the junit dependency same syntax in kotlin we have autocomplete that's our dependency string. And in Kotlin, we always have to use brackets. In Groovy, that's optional. And I don't know about you, but I think this makes things less ambiguous. There's only one way to do things. So plus one to Kotlin here. Repositories. Let's go with Maven Central. Configure the test task to use the JUnit platform. Tasks.test. Can't be bothered to type, so autocomplete. Cool. Test is under verification. Run that. No exception thrown. Amazing. And here's the whole build script. And isn't it a beautiful thing? It's marked as green. And this is one of the problems of editing build scripts using the Groovy DSL is that you tend to have warnings all over the place. In Kotlin, this problem doesn't exist. 
because we know what type we're dealing with. Kotlin is a statically typed language. So plus one to Kotlin.